This is a shit show. Okay, let's get real. Hey guys, so today I thought that I would film this colorful eye makeup tutorial for you. Since we're coming into spring, I figured it was the perfect time to do something really fun and girly and I use some purples and pinks and corals and glitter and I just think it's really fun and a lot of you guys have been asking for more colorful tutorials, of course, and you know, purples and corals because those are definitely colors for the springtime. So yeah, this is the look that I came up with. Um, I use a lot of complementary colors to one another, so maybe you can get a good idea of how you can wear like purples and corals and pinks together and where to put things on your face and things like that. So I really hope you enjoy this spring tutorial and I will see you next time. Mwah! Bye! So the first thing I'm doing is taking this color Coral. This is a MAC Pro shade. It's literally called Coral. You can order online or get it in any MAC Pro store. Um, don't forget that a MAC Pro store is different than just a regular MAC store. It's literally called MAC Pro. So you can also access all these colors and these different products that MAC Pro has on their online website. I'll put the link below. I have my eye primed already with Max Painterly Paint Pot. And I am just taking a Sigma brush. This is just like the MAC 224. I believe it's the E40. And I am just putting this all over in the crease. I'm making the most color pigmentation on the outer corner of the eye. Then as you see, I am just fluffing it around like a crazy person just to blend it out. Then I'm going to take the shade Girly. This is a really, really pretty pink. For some reason, it looks kind of yellowy in the camera, but it's, it's a pretty true pink. And as you can see in the picture right here, it has a nice sheen, but it's not super, super glittery. You can use a more glittery pink, which I'm going to go over with glitter anyways. But this is just a really nice light wash of pink. So if you're a pink kind of girl, this is a great color just to have to throw on all over the lid with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going to take the color Hepcat. I'll show you a little bit closer. There we go. And this is a MAC color as well. And it's like a really gorgeous pinkish purple. It's not super purple but it's not super pink. It's like that perfect right in between, but it's got great pigmentation. I don't typically put colory shadows in the outer crease. I mean, I'm sorry, I meant shimmery eyeshadows in the outer crease, but I wanted to in this because honestly, when it comes to color, it's not always easy to blend matte shades in that crease when they're like a bright color. So I thought I'd make it easier for you guys because this is definitely this is definitely easier. And I'm going back with um, the color Coral once again on that 217 brush. Um, this is the Sigma brush, but it's just like the MAC 217. And I'm just going to buff that all around just to buff it out even more. And then I'm going to take MAC Sketch. This is definitely a staple by MAC. If you don't have Sketch, it's definitely something you need. This is a beautiful color if you just put it on the in the outer corner of the crease with like a light champagne color on the lid it is a gorgeous gorgeous deep purple i love this color so i'm just taking that with a stiffer brush and i'm putting it densely in the outer corner and then as you can see i'm bringing it up lightly with no additional product on my brush into that crease to blend it into that hepcat and coral shade and then i just kind of sweep it over the lid because you don't want any harsh lines you don't want it to be too far out in that outer crease but you don't come too far in so once you're done shaping it in that area you just want to take your brush and just kind of run it in circular motions like you see me doing right here just to make sure that it's all blended together and there's no harsh jaggedy edges and then I'm gonna take enlightening this is a press pigment by Mac you can still get these online I believe and it's literally just glitter and depending how you apply it it can be really really shiny or it can be super super glittery so I'm gonna take a synthetic brush a really thin one this is the 242 by Mac I talk about it all the time I think this brush is the best brush for packing on anything and I am just going to pack and then after I like pack it on I really move it around keep the brush on the eye and just rub it around um I pull my eye taut when I do this so that I don't get it like it's hard to explain but I pull my eye so that it all goes on a lot smoother if I don't tug at my eye a little bit then it'll just basically fall over my face so that's why I do that and then I'm going to use number 15 lashes by Red Cherry changing it up. I'm using the Duo Waterproof Glue. I know I got a huge glob on that, but you still want to apply it really thinly. And then I just use my tweezers to pop it on. If you guys want to see a lash video, I know a few of you have requested. I could try to do that soon. And then I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Absolutely love this foundation. It looks really, really yellow on me in this video. And I know I hear that from you guys sometimes. That's okay though. I was really, really pale when I filmed this. 
like really pale because I was still getting over being sick. So I know it looks really weird, but once I have everything else on with the under eye concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as always, and I have all that blended out and the blush and everything, you'll see it'll look much, much better, not as yellow. And then I'm going to take MAC Pro Sculpting Powder. This is actually the highlighting powder in Accentuate. And I'm going to take that on a highlighter brush by Sigma and just lightly dust that under the eye area. This is great for the under eye area. You don't want to use all powders under there, but this one you is made for that area. So just to set that. And then I'll take that same powder since it has a pink tone in it and I'll just dust it over the T-zone area just so that I kind of neutralize that yellow that's going on in my foundation and how it's not matching. And then I'm taking Max Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium. Dusting that all over the face. Once again, this is a brush from Sigma. Um, it's also made at MAC. I talked about it in my brush video. Just because I don't want my nose to be really shiny all day. Even though I'm dry, this foundation can look shiny. And I don't like the T-zone to look shiny. And then I'm taking cork in a 212 brush. And I'm filling in the brows. And I will show you something a little bit different today. When I do color like this, I like to make my brows really defined and a little bit more sharp, if that makes sense to just make it look natural. So I take concealer and I go around the edges, especially at the bottom, and just carve it out like I'm doing. And then I very lightly just buff it out so that that eyebrow has more shape because I want the eyes and the shadow to stick out more than anything. And then I go on and I highlight the underbrow area and the inner corner area. Because now you can see the brows are a little bit more defined, a little bit sharper. It's kind of like the same thing that you do with drag makeup. And it just brings more attention to the eye area. So then I'm going to take a 212 brush again, one of my favorites, and put Hepcat on that lower lash line. And just rub it all around. And then once you have Hepcat down there, you want to get a bigger, fluffier pencil brush and just buff that out. And just don't forget when you're working with your under eye area, it takes time and then more time and then more time. You really can't get impatient with this. If you want this to look smooth, you have to spend the time to really buff this out back and forth, in and out, and windshield wiper motions. Because it's not a super easy thing to do. It's easy to get that jaggedy under eye look. And then you kind of have raccoon eyes. And then I'm going to take Girly again because it has the sheen, but it's not really super shimmery. And I'm going to go over it with the Girly look. Now, if you have really bad like pink circles under your eyes, you're not going to want to use a pink shade to blend that out because it'll just emphasize. And then I'm going to take Max Sketch and just dab a tiny bit right at that waterline just to make it pop a little bit more. Then after that, I'm going to apply mascara. This is the Maybelline... Oh, I can't think. Fiber Extensions Lash Mascara. I will look it up and I will put it in the bottom bar below with all of the other products and information that I have in this video. And I'm showing you your options. So many. So you want to use a coral blush now that we have pink and purple eyes. You want to use something that has an orangey, corally shade to make that coral pop in the eyes. If you do a pink blush or a lavender blush, you're going to look like the 80s. So to balance that out, you want to pick up and really play up that coral shade. So I believe I am using Style MAC Blush and Style on my cheeks right now. There's a beautiful one by Tarte. And I want to go get it so bad. Okay, I'm getting off subject. Hello. I'm taking a tiny bit of bronzer and just, as you can see, barely dusting it. Just a tiny, tiny bit because we want to concentrate on the coral. This is not all about bronzing. This is about color today. Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. Love. I'm just going to tap that on the top of my cheeks. Thank you so much, you guys, for giving me so many amazing recommendations for color um, highlighters for the cheekbones in the last tutorial. Love that. This is the Chroma lip color. I don't know the shade that this is, but I am obsessed with these things. Like I didn't think I was going to like the Kardashian makeup collection, but I love, love this color. But if I left it like that, it'd be too much pink. So I'm going to go over it with the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain and put that on top. And this is in Creamsicle. So that orangey color with the pink color mixed together is going to really even it out so it's not too pink or too orange. So the eyes are pink and coral, the cheeks are strictly coral, and the lips are pink and coral. After that, you're done. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Mwah.